The Night Shot is designed to work with both Picatinny and Weaver rail systems. Picatinny rail systems have identically sized repetitive slots, whereas the Weaver rail system has slots oriented in varying positions. To accommodate the wide number of Weaver and Picatinny rails, the rifle scope mount uses one cross bolt that the shooter can position to work correctly with their particular application. Only one cross bolt is required to prevent forward or aft movement during recoil. The second clamping bolt is used in conjunction with the first to ensure the rifle scope does not move on the rail. The night shot scope appears longer than a typical rifle scope due to the rubber eyepiece extension. Note that the shooter's face should be located just as it comes in contact with the edge of this eyepiece as it is designed to provide the shooter with one and three quarter inches of eye relief while closing off any ambient light source to keep reflections out of the eyepiece cycle. The symbol will remain on the screen. Reticle selection. Quick pressing the power button cycles between three different reticle types. Each of the three reticle types can be configured in white or black, allowing the shooter to adjust the reticle type and color to best suit the current shooting environment. Windage and Elevation Remove the protective caps from the windage and elevation adjustment knobs. On the windage adjustment, left and right are indicated by L and R. On the elevation adjustment, up and down adjustments are indicated by U and D. To make adjustments to the point of impact, click the knob in the required direction, taking into account that one click equals a quarter inch at 50 yards. The number at the top or bottom and left or right of the screen shows adjustment settings. Replace cap to secure the settings. Final zeroing should be done at the distance where you do most of your shooting. For most hunters using night vision, this will be in the 50 to 100 yard range. Eyepiece focus and initial setup. With the lens cap closed, set. This is the connection point for the optional IR used as a supplemental IR source We're going to be doing another product review today. This is going to be for the ATN Thor HD Thermal Rifle Scope. Um, it's going to be the 640 hertz uh, model that they have. And the magnification power on this is going to be a 1.5 by 15. Um, so that way you, can, you guys can go on to ATN's website and reference all that stuff and look up exactly um, which model this is. Um, just to kind of get started with it, um, I've had this product now for almost a year. Uh, it'll be a year in November, well, it's August, basically September right now. So I've had a pretty decent amount of time to play with this thing and, and you know, use it and uh, shoot with it and really put it to the test. Um, I used it all this past predator season and I mean, just First of all, I've got to say it's absolutely the best purchase that I've ever made. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that this thing was cheap because it wasn't. Um, anybody that's looking to buy something that's quality made um, and has a quality product and then something that's going to be a, a thermal type item, um, you're going to have to pay some money for. Um, when I first started out and started looking into buying a thermal, I didn't plan on spending as much as I did um, on this specific scope. Um, when I first started looking into them, I was wanting to spend anywhere in the $1,000 to maybe 1500 range, high end is what I was looking at. Um, but the more I looked at it and the more I uh, started saving, the more I kept saving, the more, more reviews I read. All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a very interesting digital night vision device. This is an awesome little monocular from Creative XP. This is their 2021 edition of their digital night vision monocular. This is an interesting design because it is so small. You can see how tiny this is compared to other night vision monoculars I've reviewed on the channel. A lot of the other ones are about twice as large as this. And they're a little bit more cumbersome if you wanted to stow them away in a battle belt, put them in your pocket, things like that. Let's talk about the specs and features and performance of this outside and how it performed in and around the home. So the very first thing I want to discuss is the overall feature set. And you can see it's got this nice little hand strap and it actually is very ergonomic. It kind of guides your fingers where they need to go and that's very key when you're using a night vision monocular in complete dark because obviously you can't see the buttons. And if you're using a flashlight to see the buttons then it kind of defeats the purpose of using night vision. So your thumb easily accesses the power button and the mode button but most of the time you really just need to access the power button. Once you do, the screen turns on, and this is where it gets interesting. Ignore the little screen protector. I haven't taken it off yet. 
Normally, a lot of times, especially on these smaller ones, the screens sit back a little bit further. You look through a magnifying lens and then you have to look through like a pane of glass and they're deep receded back into the night vision. To keep this small, they actually move the screen right to the edge so you don't necessarily have to hold this right to your eye. In fact, you can hold this about eight to 10, even 12 inches away from your eye and still see the screen, which is pretty cool. Also, the screen is rather crisp and clear and it's got a very good image quality. This one also has a record feature and an IR illuminator built into the bottom right here and this focusing knob at the front. This is made out of plastic, but it feels solid. Again, a lot better than some of those other smaller digital night vision monoculars I've tried in the past. It also has a rubberized texturing and protective end piece right here for the front lens system. To turn on the IR illuminator, again, it's very intuitive. So your fingers will reach up and you'll be able to feel these three buttons. And again, use your thumb for the power. The first button is the record feature. So as soon as you click this, you'll start recording. It actually comes with an SD card in the box. So everything you need, you are good to go. In fact, I was recording last night and we still have about five and a half hours of footage left. So it really does have everything you need right in the box, nothing to buy extra. Moving along, you have the IR up and down. It seems like this has seven IR settings and you're not gonna hurt this digital night vision binocular by using it in the day. That's another nice feature of digital night vision. So when you click it on, it actually switches over from daytime mode to nighttime mode, registers IR and turns on the IR lamp right here. You'll be able to cycle through the IR settings until... Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. This is a really nice night vision monocular from Boblov. Um, I really like it a lot. Um, here in the front, you can use it during the daylight if you keep this on, if you take it off, um, which I'll show you later on tonight how that works and it gets dark. Um, on here, I have my zoom in and out. I have my function for switching between camera and video, which is really nice. And here's, you hold this button to turn it on. So I know it'll be hard to see on the inside, but as you can see, as soon as I held it down, it's booting up. So um, on here, um, on this side here, you can connect it to your computer, you have audio and you have a memory card. Um, to put batteries in, that's under here on the bottom, and it also has a tripod mount. So I'll get some video of my dog running around here in the daylight so you can see how well it looks, and then we'll go ahead and add uh, some night vision as well. So it's dark out here, but we're gonna fire this up and I'm gonna get some video of the dogs using the infrared. All right, here are my two dogs. Ah! They're gonna take off and I'm gonna show you here how dark it is. So as you can see, it is dark out and we'll get the camera out and we'll try it. Okay, first of all, I just wanted to show you kind of like a pan of the area with the infrared on. You can see some houses far away, but it's dark. I'm gonna put the cap on here real quick. And as you can see, it's pretty much dark everywhere now. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off and see if I can find the dog. Oh, okay, there she is. All right, so as you can see, it gives a really nice image, and like I said before, I've got her there. If I put the cap on, it's really kind of dark. Let's see if I can find my Pomeranian. All right, so we can't see. We'll go ahead and take it off, and we'll see if we can find the Pomeranian now. And there she is. I'll go ahead and get it in focus. Here, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the best sight night vision conversion system for rifle scopes with recording. This video is about showing you what the actual equipment does and real life, real world testing and how it performed. So this is the review portion of it and I'm going to be giving you videos and pictures and examples and kind of giving you uh, some personal opinions and uh, of what I felt about it in the testing on this. Okay guys? So let's go right into that part of the video. All right, so um, I took this out in the field and did a bunch of testing with it. And, you know, um, it, it's, basic, it's a basic simple design here. Uh, let me run across a few basic things with you. I mean, obviously, it's intended to connect to a rifle scope. That's the only way you use it. Uh, it converts a rifle scope into uh, a night vision system. But it's actually more than a night vision system. You can record in the daytime as well. Um, essentially, there's a camera down inside here, and this system aligns with the scope, and it shoots video and pictures through the scope itself. Um, it has an infrared emitter flashlight right here to boost the nighttime sensitivity, 
without this, it basically cannot film at night. So it's not a true night vision um, conversion system in the sense that it can actually sense light at night without without any light whatsoever. It has to have this infrared flashlight in order to work, okay? Now, it has a daytime and nighttime um, function. I, I've seen some reviews online where people say it doesn't work, and I think what they're doing is they're forgetting to switch this thing. If this is over to the uh, left, it's in daytime mode where you'll have full color and you can do color video. If you switch it to the right, it's in nighttime mode and then you're just gonna have black and white video. Um, if it's in daytime mode, you can see at night with it, but only about 30, 40 yards, even with the flashlight. Once you switch it to night mode, it will be able to see several hundred yards, okay? Um, quite good, actually, compared to a night vision scope. I've had a few actual night vision scopes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video.